All right, well, this is John Grunsfeld, the astronaut who's in charge of repairing Hubble in uh, August of 2008? That's the plan. Okay. So uh, you're strapped to the end of the robot arm, you're taking the screws out of STIS, and you see one of them flying in front of your field of view. Walk us through it. What do you do? Well, fortunately, we've developed a plan where the screws shouldn't get loose. <laughs> but if they do, you know, we have no better plan than to slowly track it and grab it. <laughs> and now you've got this number four screw in your finger, what do you do with it? And uh, there's several options we have. We actually have a little space back here we can try and capture it and close it off, but we carry a small trash bag for things like that that you can try and stick it in. Uh, but uh, the plan is not to lose any tiny screws in space. So your spacesuit does not have pockets? Nope. It has a small pocket, actually, that we have a pair of scissors in. But, we, but otherwise, we carry our little pocket with us. You carry scissors when you're in a balloon in space? It's a mystery to me why we carry the scissors. It's been a long standing mystery. The, the engineers, uh, the young engineers, say, oh, well, it's in case you get tangled in your safety tether, you can cut the safety tether. So I said, okay. Show me that you can cut the safety tether. So those young engineers spent hours hacking away at this wire rope, you know, unable to cut it, and eventually gave up. So we still don't know. It's it's legacy from, you know, somebody who thought it was a good idea. You should have an oxyacetylene torch in your in your pocket. That would work just as well. I don't have.